let's talk about ratio and proportion and how to set up our proportions so that we can solve for a missing number. This can be a really challenging task for a lot of the students that I work with, just knowing where to put the numbers and how to set it up, but I've got a strategy that will help with that. All right, so let's take a look at this word problem. In a bowl of candy, there are three red candies to every five green candies. If there are 135 red candies in the bowl, how many green candies are there? Okay, so how do we set this up? I really like using this grid method. So as you can see over here on the left, I've got the two different color of candies, red and green. And then up at the top, I've got the two different ways that this that the numbers are represented. We've got the ratio numbers and then we've got the actual number of candy in the bowl. Now obviously you're not gonna use the word bowl for every single problem. This can be interchanged for whatever it is that the problem is asking about. But regardless, you can use a word here just to help you remember what type of color and placement we're looking for. Now let's talk about how to set up the numbers. So in this very first sentence here, they're giving us the ratio. They're telling us that for every three red candies, there are five green candies. So that's gonna go in the ratio column right here. And then we're going to put the three next to red and the five next to green. So those are the columns for the red and the green. And typically in proportion problems, they're going to give you three pieces of information and then you have to figure out that fourth piece. So in this case, they're telling us that there are 135 red candies in the bowl. So that goes in the red column underneath the bowl but we don't know how many green candies are in the bowl. That's what we're trying to solve for. That's what they're asking us to figure out. So I just used X. You can use whatever variable you want, but this is where your variable is gonna go. And now we sort of already have our fractions set up. If we take away all of that other stuff and just leave all of our numbers here and write them as fractions equal to each other, now we've got our proportion and we can solve. And then to solve, we're just going to cross multiply and set those two products equal to each other. So five times 135, that gives us 675. And then three times X gives us three X. And then we divide by three right here to solve for X. So we figure out that we have 225 equals X. So that's how many green candies are in the bowl.